The government now believes roughly 8 million children have come down with the virus. In addition to the 540 who have died, 36,000 have been hospitalized. Among adults 18 to 64, there were an estimated 12 million cases, 53,000 hospitalizations, and almost 3,000 deaths. In 1997, health and medical officials are shocked to learn that people are dying from a type A influenza virus known as H5N1. It is a virus known to kill birds, but has never before been found in people. The virus has mutated and broken through the species barrier from birds to humans. This sparks fears of a potentially devastating global pandemic that could kill millions of people it is almost certain that the global community will face another influenza pandemic at some period in time. You won't be able to isolate yourself. You won't be able to escape. Almost 50% of those that we know about do end up dying from this disease. It's going to be not just a national event, it's going to be a global event. We are preparing for the pandemic, the real pandemic, where everything breaks loose simultaneously around the world. A flu pandemic occurs when a new influenza virus emerges, a virus for which people have little or no immunity and no available vaccine. The disease spreads easily from person to person, causes serious illness, and can quickly sweep across the country and around the world. The influenza pandemic of 1918, the so-called Spanish flu, remains the most deadly in recent history. It killed an estimated 20 to 40 million people. There have been several influenza pandemics since then, but none is deadly. Hong Kong, 1997. Officials are not taking any chances. They respond to the outbreak of H5N1 avian influenza by calling 1.5 million birds in three days. There are no more immediate cases of direct transmission of the disease from birds to humans. But the danger has not passed. In early 2003, two more human cases of H5N1 come to light in Hong Kong, then another in China. Throughout 2003, the virus spreads to poultry in Korea, Thailand, and Vietnam. The rate of human and animal infections peaks in 2006, with a slight decline in 2007.
A very important development on bioterrorism to tell you about. Researchers in Wisconsin and the Netherlands working separately have created a form of the deadly bird flu virus that can easily spread from person to person. There is growing concern that if terrorists got their hands on this information, they could create a virus that could kill millions of people around the world. The bird flu virus, known as H5N1, is fatal in 60% of human cases. Since it was first detected back in 1997, about 600 people have been sickened by it. Of those, only 336 have died, mainly because it cannot yet be transmitted between humans. It's a real-life tale that reads like science fiction. A Dutch scientist using U.S. government funding creates a deadly synthetic virus, a super-lethal bird flu. It makes it potentially the most dangerous flu virus that's ever been created in the world. 